Yo, what is up YouTube, Trilog here, and I know it's been a long time since I uploaded a video recently, I've been just going through a lot of stuff IRL and dealing with stuff, but I am back now and I plan to be trying to upload either every day, so daily uploads, or every other day, so if you guys are excited for that, uh, you can go ahead and let me know in the comments. And yeah, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best executor out right now for PC version of Roblox. So that means you don't need an emulator, you don't need an Android, and all that good stuff. Now, this video is going to be segmented into parts with timestamps. So you guys could skip ahead or you could just follow along. Uh, I would really appreciate it if you watched the entire video though, as it helps me out a ton and supports this work I do. So I can bring you all this content and all this tutorials and all the scripts I make for free. Uh, but anyway, let's just jump right in. So the first segment of this video is going to be how to actually get a key for this. This is a paid exploit, but before you guys click off, because I said it's paid, you get what you pay for as you guys know from exporting if you used any executor in the past like i don't know a couple months there's been a lot of ban uh ban messages i'll throw one up on the screen now so here's the ban message as you can see it basically tells you that uh you were banned for cheats and exploits now the highest i've seen is a terminated account the lowest i've seen is a ban for one day now with this executor that i'm about to show you you do not get banned I have not gotten banned in so long, but if you were to use another executor such as Solaria, which is a free one, or Solora, I don't know what they how to pronounce it, they will ban you because Roblox can detect. Now this is just like Synapse X. It's a really good executor and it's actually quite affordable. Now I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get the key now. So if you guys go into the description, I'm going to have the first link is going to have all of the links you need to actually complete this tutorial. Now, the first link is going to take you here. Now, this is a store where you can buy your keys. Now, there's gonna be a couple things listed for sale. You're not gonna worry about anything except for this one here, the Sign Up Z Executor. You're gonna go ahead and click it. And once you click it, you're going to have a few options. Now, the few options are gonna be if you want seven days or 30 days. You can also buy with Robux, guys. So keep that in mind. You could buy with Robux, crypto, PayPal, credit cards, and yeah, I think that's it. Also though, there are chances to get it for free. Like I became a beta tester and they gave me a free key. So that was pretty cool. So just keep that in mind. There are ways to get it for free. So just join their discord. It will be also in the first link below. Now, as you guys can see, the seven day key is 650, which is not that expensive. So if you guys wanna just test out the executor, you could pay 650 and test it out. And a 30 day key is $20, same as Synapse. And Synapse X, when they, before they went discontinued and started working for Roblox, they were gonna be doing the same thing as, they, as Synapse Z is doing with the monthly payments and the weekly payments. So if you're getting what you pay for though, I can't stress, stress this enough, that if you buy this, you will not be uh, disappointed, right? I've been using this executor now for, I don't know, almost a month very good executor best one i've ever used now when you go ahead and do it so let's go just go ahead and click you would basically pick which one you want and you would press continue you would type in your email here and you're going to press that you read the agreement and then when you press continue it'll ask you to pay and whatnot just go ahead and pay and then after you pay it'll go ahead and send you an email with a code or there might be a code on the screen that you copy now when you have this code it is very important that you save it right? You have to save this, otherwise you'll lose it. And that is your key. Now, once you have your key here, you're going to go to this next link in the description, which is their official website. And you're going to go ahead and just press download. Now it's going to go ahead and download this file here. It is going to be a zip file. Make sure it's a zip file. Um, and then it's going to finish downloading. Now, once it finishes downloading, you're going to go ahead and press the windows key and search windows security. Now, this is a very important step because your computer will flag it as malware because it is editing files and whatnot. It is not malware. That is a false positive. So what you're gonna need to do to turn that off and make sure you can actually use this is go to virus and threat protection, scroll down till you see manage settings under virus and threat protection settings. You're gonna click manage settings, then just turn off real-time protection. Now yours is not gonna say this part right here, Mine says that because I permanently turned it off, so I don't ever have to do that step again. But you're just going to turn off real-time protection. You can leave the other stuff on. Uh, this, you don't need to turn that off. I don't know why I have it off. I just do. But uh, yeah. Now, after you do that, you're going to go ahead and 
bring that downloaded file that you just downloaded the zip file and you're going to bring it to wherever you want the executor to be now in my case i want it on the desktop so i'm going to go ahead and drag it to my desktop as you can see now once you drag it to your desktop here you're going to go ahead and right click it and then extract it now this is going to unzip the folder and as you can see now we have an unzip folder of the same thing now you can go ahead and delete the zip file. So I'm just go ahead and put it in my recycling bin. And yeah, now you have this folder. Now, once you have this folder, you're gonna go ahead and just open it as you can see. And then you're gonna run the Synapse Launcher. As you can see, there's a couple things. So if you ever need to uh, reset your hardware ID, you can press this one. And then if you buy a key after your other key expires, you press redeem.cmd. So just keep that in mind. Just remember that. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and press the launcher. Now it's going to prompt you with, do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device? You're going to press yes. I'll throw a picture of the message on the screen. And after you do that, it's going to open up your command prompt and it's going to say a whole bunch of things. It's going to download updates. It's going to do all that good stuff. As you can see, now we have a bunch of settings, a bunch of folders and whatnot. Now, after you have this open, the next step is to actually use it. So we're going to go ahead and load into this game here. Also, guys, when you do download it, it's going to ask you to import your key and whatnot. So just keep that in mind that you're going to have to do that. I don't have to. I already have a key. So, yeah. Now, we're just going to join whatever game you want. It will work in every game. So I'm going to join base plate for the sake of this tutorial just because it's less laggy and overall just a decent game for showing off scripts. Now we're going to go ahead and open this folder one more time. And now that we have it open, we're going to run the launcher, press yes. And then it's going to say injecting. And when they all disappear, that means it's injected. Now, the way you open up this executor is quite interesting. Actually, let me just go ahead and do one thing. All right, there we go. All right. So how you open up this executor is actually you just press the delete key. So when you press the delete key, as you can see, it makes your whole screen black and it has the executor and you can go ahead and type in it and all that good stuff. Um, and yeah, I don't know why it's making that noise on my computer, but yeah. But when you go to close it, some people are having an error and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to fix it. So as you can see, when I close the GUI, we actually have an a like black frame uh, over my game that I cannot move. I can't close nothing. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to fix it. It actually took me a second to figure it out for myself. Um, but yeah, so you're going to X out Roblox. Now, again, this step you only have to do if you have that black frame and it won't disappear. Some people don't have it. I'm one of the ones that have it. It's a bug and I'll show you how to fix it. You're going to go ahead and go to the custom UI link in the description. First link in the description. Also, guys, make sure you use my links. They all will be the official links so you don't get scammed. And yeah. Now, when you're on this site here, you're just going to press this one right here. The sign multi inject rel dot zip. It's going to go ahead and download the zip file. Now you're going to go ahead and wait for it to download and then you're going to drag it wherever you want. Now I'm going to drag it to my desktop for the sake of this video. Um, so let me go ahead and do that now. So here it is and we're just going to bring it right here. Now what you're going to do here is extract this folder wherever you have it. So I'm going to extract it right now. And as you can see, now we have a open folder and I don't know what I just did. So I'm going to cancel that. All right. As you can see, now we have two folders, sign up Z and sign multi inject. Now we're going to go ahead and open both of these files here because you're going to need them both open. So as you can see, this is the sign up Z one and this one is the multi inject. Now on the multi inject, you're going to open the net 6.0 windows. And when you're in here, you're going to need to come over to sign up Z, click on the Synapse Launcher, you're gonna copy it. So I'm gonna copy it. And then you're gonna come over here and paste it. If you don't do this, it will not work. You have to have the launcher.exe inside of here. Now you can close out the Synapse Z part and I'm just gonna bring it over there. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna run the Synapse Bootstrapper. As you can see, it's right here. So we're gonna run it. And if you guys have used exploits in the past, you might recognize this UI. It's actually the Synapse X UI. So that's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, so we're just going to wait for it to extract and download and all that good stuff. And then I'll go ahead and show you guys how to use it. Also, if you don't have the visual bug, you can also do this just to have a better looking UI. But as you can see, we have it open. There's a bunch of options you could check out. Uh, you could save files, all that good stuff. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to actually use this. So I'm going to have this open still. And we're going to go back and go to Roblox again. So let me go ahead and open Roblox and join the game one more time. 
Now, sometimes you'll get an error, or at least I know I do. It could be that I'm doing it wrong. Uh, I don't know. But basically, what I would do is I would press attach. Uh, you're going to need to put your account key here. I'm going to go ahead and just bring this off of the screen because honestly, guys, I don't want to be sharing my account key with you guys. No offense. But uh, yeah, that's a no-no. Don't ever share your account key, by the way. If you share your account key, you have a chance of getting banned from the and blacklisted from the script because this is a paid exploit so you can't be doing that now once you hit attach what it's going to do is sometimes you get this glitch here where it says it needs uh required it requires higher elevation basically just hit continue and then once you hit continue you're going to go ahead and open up the net 6.0 windows file and open up this one right here the signups launcher.exe so we're gonna go ahead and do it. The one that you copied and pasted, by the way, the one without a logo, it's gonna go ahead and download a new version. It's gonna inject, inject, inject. And now what we're gonna do is just open the one with a logo. So as you can see, and now we have our launcher or our executor. And now if I go ahead and press F9, we can actually test on this if this is working with just a simple print statement. So we'll do print test. And if this is working, when I press execute, what's it's gonna do is print test in the output. So as you can see, it printed test. Now I'll go ahead and show you guys that this does indeed work with scripts. If you can see, they have a script hub built in and we can just go ahead and execute infinite yield. And as you can see, it did load up in game. And with infinite yield, we can do a whole bunch of crazy stuff such as flying, walk speed. So walk speed 100. As you can see, we're super fast. I'm lagging a bit, but yeah. And we can do unwalk speed. Now we're, well, actually I don't think we can. Walk speed 16 probably. Yeah, there we go. Now we're back to normal. You can also fly all that good stuff you can increase your fly speed so fly 10 is pretty fast as you can see pretty quick and yeah that's basically what this executor does um you can also run custom scripts just put them in the executor and hit execute so you can run auto farms aim bots all that good stuff and you have less chance less to no chance of getting banned using this executor than you would a free executor um, but anyway, guys, if you do have any other questions about this executor or any, how to set it up, my comment section is always open. I do try to respond to a lot of you guys. It's just sometimes really hard to respond to all of you. So I'll do my best. Um, also, join the discords all in the description. I have two of them. Uh, if you want to communicate with me through discord, join Insurgent Hub. If you want to just get notified for when I upload, you can either turn on notifications and subscribe or you could join the Trilog Script Discord. Both will be in the description. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And again, if you have any questions, don't be scared to ask and reach out. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.